bit uh, my junior year of high school. So back in the day, um, my mom was actually taking classes at the local university in psychology. She overheard someone mention sports psychology. I knew at that point I wanted to go into psychology. Um, so she's like, hey, this might be something you want to look into because I was an athlete. I was very involved in sports, love sports. It could be a way to combine both passions. So since then, every decision I made of like where to go and choices was all about pursuing this career in sports psychology. First to see, is this what I want to do? And then once it was confirmed, then it's just how can I put myself in the best position possible to get me to a, a place like this? And were you were you a high school uh, a high school or college athlete previously? I or I did a lot of sports in high school. Um, I played field hockey. I did indoor track, outdoor track. Previous to that, I swam. In college, I actually did tennis for just one year to, at college, <laughs> um, and that that was it. So I was not a like a uh, division one scholarship athlete or anything like that. Um, but it, it kind of, there's some advantages to that because I, I understand when things uh, you need to use your mental power to get you to where you need to go instead of just completely innately relying on your physical capabilities. Yeah. So uh, how did you, how did you begin your career? You said you started in um, private practice. Yeah, so I started in private practice once I graduated with my doctorate. 